Okay, chapter 3, section 2, solving equations by graphing. Wednesday, we graphed equations, and some of them crossed the x and y axis, and some of them didn't. Okay, those are the solutions to those graphs. Two weeks ago, we did 2x plus 4 equals 8. We divided both sides by 2, and we got x equals 4. Two days ago, we graphed that to get x equals 4. That's the solution. So what we're going to do today is just take a standard equation that we've seen a hundred times over. Let me pick a good one. Let's go with um, 2x. In fact, I'll just pick the one that I just talked about. Kind of. 2x minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so now take a second. Solve that. Okay, so how are we going to solve 2x minus 8 equals 0? Anybody? Add 8 to both sides. Okay, again, showing all the steps. So 2x equals 8. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 4. We know how to do that. Not a problem. Okay, now what we have combined it with... is graphing. And you can go ahead and just sketch an xy axis in your paper. It's not it doesn't have to be very precise and you'll see why here in just a second. If I do the exact same thing I just did divide both sides by two. Now I want you to graph x equals four. So what does it tell me when I get x equals 4? Where, where can I put a point? What can I do? Hayden? Well, let's not, let's not put a 0 or anything. And I have some random thing just pop up there. There we go. I don't want to put a 0. Where, where can I put x equals 4? Katie, go ahead. On the x-axis, where is x equals 4? Tell me exactly where it is. Four spaces to the right, right there. Okay. Where is another place where x equals four? Oh, if I go four spaces to the left, won't that be negative four? Four spaces to the left of there. Wouldn't that be x equals zero? Katie knows this one because Katie came in for tutoring this morning. Where's there another one, Katie? Everywhere above it. And everywhere below it. <laughs> okay, every one of those coordinates has a value of x equals 4. Do you agree? So that is the graph of x equals 4. What if it was, what, I'm sorry, what if it was y equals 4? It'd be a horizontal line. So make a little mental note somewhere on your piece of paper. If I see x only, x equals something, I know it's going to be a vertical line. If I see y equals something, I know it's going to be a horizontal line. And if I see both x and y, I know it's going to be a di diagonal line in some direction. Okay, that's a little, a little flag, a little green flag that can go up in your brain when you see those things. Okay, some of these they're just going to ask you to solve. You won't have to graph every single one. So again, if you're looking at 1 through 20 going, really, Mr. Renault, 20 graphs on a Friday? What are you doing to me? You don't have to graph all of them. Sometimes they just want you to solve. All right, so I'm going to give you one that I want you to solve regular, and I also want you to graph it. 2x minus 4 equals 2x minus 6. Okay. And think about chapter 2 on this one. Oh, everything's coming back into play. Okay. Take just a minute and think. All right, let's take a break from thinking and let's do some working. All right, what do I do when I have the same variable on both sides? Dallas. Oh, did you see my no look? That was nice. Or I can just simply, Michael, what can I do? Cancel, Cancel them out. What Dallas said, he said subtract 2x from both sides. It's absolutely right. I'm going to save a step because I know the exact same thing is on both sides, and I'm just going to bring down what I have. Negative 4 equals negative 6. Awesome. Graph that. Ready? Go. 
Now, you should be looking at me right now going, what? H how do I graph negative 4 equals negative 6? There's no x there. There's no y there. I can't graph anything if there's not an x or a y. I have to have an intercept. A line has to go somewhere. And negative 4 equals negative 6 is not even true. Ah, if something is not true, what do we have? No solution. No solution. Okay. Now, for those of you who are wondering, will we ever have one where it's like negative 4 equals negative 4? No, because I can't graph all real numbers because they're everywhere. I, I have to have either your answer is going to be a graph or it's going to be no solution. There will never be any all real number answers. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, now I'll give you a real one that you actually do have to graph. And I'll just do this. I'll just take one from the book. So when you're following along, you can um, you can know that you have this one done already. Let's see. Man, they get these are all most of these are horizontal or vertical lines. Awesome. Or no solution. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go with um, um, okay, let's go with that one. Solve it and graph it. All right, 6y minus 9 equals 0. What's the first step? Alexandra, first step, add 9 to both sides. Perfect. So I get 6y equals 9. Sammy, bring it home. What do we do now? Divide by 6. Perfect. All right. What is 9 over 6? Careful. Okay, it's 3 over 2. All right, as it reduce, and that is 1 and 1 half. Okay, now it's y equals 1 and 1 half. So tell me right away, is it going to be a horizontal line or is it going to be a vertical line? Horizontal. horizontal. So I go to where y is 1 and 1 half, which is right there. And over here it's one and a half, and over here it's one and a half, and over here it's one and a half. I can put as many points as I want to, but I need at least two. Okay, so I create my line. Remember to draw lines with straight edges, or they are incorrect. Okay, that's chapter three, section two.